even scratched the surface yet. We're now joined by Fox NBA analyst Chris Broussard. Mm. Good morning. Good mm. morning. How mm. impressive was AD? Well, I told Shannon, don't worry about the Lakers. They're going to be all right. Yeah. <laughs> so Not only is it all right, we already had a parade this morning. <laughs> Shannon was up early. The, the Grizzlies, right? Leading the, the way. The Grizzlies. Mm. Uh, obviously, look, physically, he was obviously great. There's no question about it. Most of his baskets were at the rim with alley-oops. The one from LeBron was a tremendous play. Even the throw that pass, I like that from LeBron, and obviously finished re the reverse kind of layup dunk. But what I liked most physically was his drive into the basket, the dribble drives. And he didn't finish most of those because he got fouled. But I like it, it was like, okay, you don't just have to throw it to him in the post. You don't just have to pass it to him and he'll hit a mid-range jumper or three. He was taking it off the dribble. And I think they're going to need that ability to create a shot. So I like that from AD. But for all the great physical things, the 26 to 27 free throws, I mean, that's phenomenal. It is. Not only, he's a good free throw shooter, 80% career, but mentally, that's tough. Yeah. You know, once you've hit 10 in a row, you start, okay, I'm due for a miss. Or, you know, yeah, so yeah, that yeah. shows some mental toughness. But more than anything, if I'm a Laker fan, this is what I, I like most. The fact that he played. The fact that he played through the physical pain of the injury, because we know... That's his reputation. There are people around the league that will tell you he's soft. Mm -hmm. And we know he, he missed 17 games on average mm -hmm. over his first four seasons. Yep. And so the fact that he played last night was huge. He had every reason in the world not to play. Early in the year. It's like, oh, right. Mm. A Grizzlies. It's mm. myth yeah, it's all about the playoffs, low management. Like, nobody really could have criticized. We would have said, oh, here we go again. He's soft. Especially you. But mm. it would have, you know, but it was a, it would have been a legitimate you, excuse. I already did. I already told you. <laughs> it would have been a, he had legitimate excuses, yes. I think. You saw him with the thing yeah. on his shoulder yep. on the. Bench. So the fact that he played through it, I think, speaks to two things. One, he wants to dispel that perception. Mm -hmm. And two, I think this is the influence of LeBron James on him. And I don't, I don't want to turn this into a LeBron discussion, but LeBron is an Iron Man. No matter what, what you say about him, he's I an agree. Iron Man, he right? Is. And I think, I almost think there's an unspoken agreement between mm. them. Unspoken. Whereas LeBron is like, look. I'm going to make you the best player you can be. We're going to run the offense through you. You're going to lead us in scoring. Maybe you'll be MVP this year or whatever. It's going to be your team. Mm -hmm. What I want from you is 100% effort and commitment. And I think, I think if he's in New Orleans, he probably doesn't play last night. But I think not only being with LeBron in L.A., but being a part of Clutch and having you know access to LeBron, just seeing how hard he works off the court, to get in shape, I, I think that's rubbing off on AD, and I think it was mm. good. I like the aggressiveness skill because he has a, a hurt shoulder. Putting the ball on the court, put it on the floor, going to the rim. You know, you're going to collide, you're going to bang shoulders. Like, you know what? Let me just spell this. Mm. Show everybody why I'm, why Shannon Sharp picked me to be the MVP. Mm. I told you you're going to be the MVP. Yeah. And I believe 28, 14, and two and a half with 56 wins, we'll do that just quite really? nicely. <laughs> quite <laughs> nicely. Help me out. My memory fades. How many did you score against the Clippers in the fourth quarter? Help me out. Skip, that was oh, one for two. Skip, you do know. Same those. amount he <laughs> scored last, last night. night. He scored none last night in the yeah, fourth because no, we, we watched. We rested. Skip, yeah. you do know you're allowed to have a bad game or oh. a bad game or a bad quarter. Against a good team. Hmm. It's the first game. I, I, I enjoyed watching that scrimmage against Long Beach State. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but see, so but see when, when Phoenix did you? When, when the Phoenix <laughs> right. the Clippers, he, he, he didn't say nothing. Phoenix. Hey, Phoenix is pretty oh, good. Oh, now Phoenix is pretty good. <laughs> it's Charles Barkley and Kevin Johnson. Right. And Kevin. So, but, you know, look, this is what we knew he was capable of doing. And I think the thing is, like you said, had he been in New Orleans, he probably would not have played because it's like, I'm in New Orleans. When you put up these kind of numbers, because it's not like Anthony Davis hadn't had a 40-20 game. He's had a 59-20 game. But when you do that in the purple and gold, it's something about when you do something as a big in the purple and gold. Mm. It has meaning. It has value. Mm. And now he's playing for something. He realizes that he has a realistic chance at getting to winning an NBA championship. I don't know deep down if he ever really thought that, Skip. Because, you know, look, when Golden State had that thing going on, you weren't coming out of the West. It wasn't happening. Unless two of those guys got hurt now. If Clay and KD had gotten hurt before the Western Conference Finals, now all bets are off. 
But if they and they were KD, KD was healthy enough to play a lot of that, except the uh, the Portland series. But Skip, he's phenomenal. I mean, and you know they started tr- keeping minutes counts in 1951. Right. They say this is the fastest anybody ever had a 40-20 game. Mm. 31 minutes. Mm. Can you imagine Skip Bayless mm. if he'd have played five minutes into the fourth quarter? Mm. I'm thinking 50-25. Mm. A whip. He'd have had a whip. He'd have had a whip average. Ooh. It's 62 <laughs> a whip average. 50-25 right, for a season. Right, right, right. Skip, he's special. And LeBron says, Skip, Skip got upset. LeBron says, we got AD. We're going to play through him. If we're not going to play through him, why get it? He's a liar. LeBron, you think he will leave? You think he's going to do that? Oh, LeBron. Man, it's early. Hey, early. It's you think really it's going to change? early. <laughs> I, I, I'm impressed by LeBron really just conceding the spotlight. I really I'm glad am. you brought that up. Uh, there you go. See, there you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I this quote via The Athletic. This is from two days ago, so it was ahead of the Memphis game last night. What do you or, I'm sorry, the Long Beach State game last <laughs> night. <laughs> this is Anthony Davis on how LeBron has reduced Anthony's workload during games. And here's the quote. This is A.D., just knowing that I'm probably going to play the whole third quarter and then kind of sit a little bit through the fourth, I try to tell LeBron, like, this is your time. Just go out and be you. Well, that sounds like, I need you, Robin. Just just go out and do your Robin thing Robin, for a little while. You know, it sounds like he's talking like, He's the superstar, and LeBron is the second fiddle. That's how that resonates as a second fiddle quote toward LeBron. And LeBron is not going to love it if this kind of stuff keeps up from AD because it's talk. It, it seems like he's big brother to or aging little brother. You know, like like uh, we feed you know, him. We feed. I the hear beast. that. I hear that. Yeah. That's interesting. I, I I hope LeBron didn't see that quote. Hey, <laughs> this is your time. Just go be you. Just go do your little Robin thing for Skip, a while. You see in the first, yeah. you see in the first, LeBron not even really looking for a shot. Mm. All he's, he's doing not. is trying to get the ball to AD. Mm-hmm. He's trying to feed him. I mean, he had 20-12 at the half, so you know it's just a matter of time. Was he going to be able to play long enough to get to 40? Now, I didn't envision 20 and 8 and the third going to stay close, but then they end up blowing the game wide open. They go on mm. like a 23 or nothing run. And the game is over from all intents and purposes. The third quarter score was AD 20, Memphis 20. Okay? <laughs> and yet, Anthony Davis scored one basket in the whole second half. One basket and scored 40 points. How did he do that? He shot 18 free throws in the third quarter alone. That's the NBA record because yep. he made all 18. Mm-hmm. And to your point, it's hard to make five straight free throws because it starts working on your psyche. Like, wait a second, I got to make another one? James Harden can get on a roll, but but he's the only one I've ever seen do that kind of a roll. He makes 26 of 27, but the key was he makes 18 straight in the third quarter. It's impossible because who's ever shot 18? Right. Nobody ever shoots 18 in the third quarter. Right. Do the math times four. What if he shot 18 every quarter? You, 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 you over, right? I mean, my but he, God. I mean, but Skip, he only took one shot when they weren't filing him. Stop okay. filing him. Hey, well, you don't want him to shoot free throws. Stop filing him. Move your feet. What this could be is an, kind of a reverse of Magic and Kareem, where Magic carried Kareem. Mm-hmm. Kareem was older, still productive because mm-hmm. of Sky Hook. But, you know, Magic extended that championship yeah. window for Kareem. This could be that with LeBron and AD. Okay. Like, AD extended and that. And Kareem did win the MVP of the regular season, Magic's rookie year. Mm-hmm. People forget right, that. Right, right. Oh, he was, yeah, early on, he was <laughs> still in his prime. All right, I buy that. But I remind you, Anthony Davis missed his two media sessions ahead of last night's game. That will cost him some Wait, money. No, we, 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 okay. Me and Bron, co- fine Bron and I going to cover that. But he missed them because they were not sure whether he could play or not. And it was a game time decision, said Frank Vogel, going all the way up to game time last night. But to your point, and to your point, he played through it. In mm-hmm. his quote after the game, it was bothering me a lot. It was very sore of his shoulder, which he hurt hanging on the rim on a failed dunk attempt late in the Charlotte game. So he can be a little brittle because that doesn't seem like the kind of action that would cause you to really hurt your shoulder, but you never know. Right. And he toughed it out and played to, to your point. He did that. Now, will this linger? Will this be nagging? You know what, Skip? When you, look, when you think about it, AD was of an average height. Until he became a senior, and then he grew like seven, eight inches. Well, he's right. a guard. Yeah, so right. maybe maybe he grew too much too quick. Maybe. And, and everything is not connected like it's supposed to be. Okay, because when you he, call him a Laker big man, I wince a little bit because I do not consider him that.